Happy Friday, everyone. Well, it's going to be dry for everyone in Nebraska today, but there's still going to be some significant differences from the western part of the state over to the eastern part of the state. I want to start talking this morning about some patchy fog in the eastern part of the state. No rain out there, but there is some light fog, dense fog in a few spots. The most likely place where we're going to see some fog this morning are places like Kearney, Norfolk, Cornell. That's what's indicated by that little fog icon on this map. But let's talk about all the differences from west to east. First off, let's talk about wind. So this afternoon, gusts are going to be around 40 miles per hour for places like Scotts Bluff and Oshkosh. And then as you go to the east, less wind. So lots of folks in for a breezy day. But in the far eastern part of the state, not much wind at all. Around Omaha, Lincoln, can't even really call it a breezy day. There's going to be more cloud cover in the east versus the west. So we're talking about a cloudy to mostly cloudy day the far eastern part of the state, then there's going to be an area with partly to mostly sunny skies this afternoon. And then it's probably going to be sunny to mostly sunny in the panhandle. And because there's going to be more cloud cover to the east, less cloud cover to the west, it's going to be warmer to the west and cooler to the east. Notice for Columbus, Lincoln, Omaha, we're looking at high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. But then we're going to have low 70s, upper 70s, and yeah, look at the low 80s from North Platte on to the west. So yeah, uh, as is typically the case, big state, lots of variation. And this is one of those bigger days with the variation. That said, tonight, not so much variation. Partly to mostly clear skies across the state, the cloud cover will continue to break it up in the eastern part of the state. And we're looking at temperatures mainly in the upper 40s, low 50s, maybe some in the panhandle getting down into the mid 40s. Still got to say that it's going to be breezy during the evening hours in the panhandle, but there's really not going to be much wind in the central and eastern part of the state. So let's jump ahead to three o'clock tomorrow. Why? Because that's when I think the rain will begin to push into the panhandle. Got to mention the small chance for a couple of showers around the Scotts Bluff area at three o'clock, but I think most of us are going to be dry still at three o'clock in the afternoon. Tomorrow looks a little bit warmer than today for everyone. Notice we might even see some mid 80s in the western part of the state. McCook, Scotts Bluff, that's a possibility. In the eastern part of the state, getting into the 70s, mainly in the low 70s, it looks like upper 70s, mainly in the central part of the state. Now, tomorrow, the wind's also going to be uniform across states. It's looking like a windy day no matter where you are, gusts 30, 35 miles per hour. Really, the afternoon hours, we'll, we'll see more and more rain popping up in the western part of the state, but things don't get particularly interesting as far as scattered activity until probably about 10 o'clock Saturday evening. And again, mainly in the western half state. Notice still dry 10 o'clock even uh, for Grand Island, Columbus, Omaha. So evening plans in the eastern part of the state for Saturday looking good. But we are going to get some thunderstorms to pop up late evening Saturday. And there is a small chance during the late evening, early overnight hours that the storms could overachieve and be severe. So that's a possibility for places like North Platte, Broken Bow, over to O'Neill. Let's track this area of storms, 1 a.m. Notice peaking around the O'Neill and Broken Bow area and still a chance for severe storms. And this area of rain is gonna to continue to push to the east. That said, this line is going to weaken. Now, I still think there's a good chance of seeing thunderstorms for places like Lincoln, Omaha, Sioux City, Columbus, 4 a.m., so very late Saturday night or early Sunday morning. You might be woken up early by some thunderstorms rolling over the area, but it does not look like they will be severe storms. It looks like they will have weakened heavy rain lightning, pretty good bet, but don't have to worry about the hail or the damaging wind. And then after the storms push through, there's a good chance of scattered showers for Sunday morning for places like Grand Island, Columbus, Omaha. No storms, but good chance of showers. But it really looks like the morning is going to be the wettest part of the day because look what happens when we go into the early afternoon hours, two o'clock. There could be a stray shower just about anywhere in the state, but it's largely going to be dry, it looks like. Now, it's a cold front that was the cause of that line of storm. So notice that everybody cooler, particularly in the western part of the state, though, that's where the more significant cool down is going to be. Notice that temperatures are pretty uniform across the state. Once again, I think most are going to be looking at highs on Sunday in the mid to upper 60s, maybe some getting into the 70s. It's still going to be windy in the eastern part of the state. I still think gusts are going to be in that 30 mile per hour range for the central and western part of the state. We'll just call it a breezy day on Sunday with those gusts of 20, 25 miles per hour. Hey, you got dinner plans with mom? 
Sunday night. For most, it's going to be dry, but I do want to mention the chance for isolated showers and storms if you're in the panhandle.